Howdy, it's Matt, and this is a little workbench project which I actually just thought it was worth sharing. Now, what is this project? Now, some of you may recognise that half. It is, uh, that's the lens bit off some goggles which I've got, which are, which ones are they? They are the Isheen EV800Ds. I bought these on offer a while back, but the bit which I really liked about them is that, by the way, they're terrible goggles, box goggles. However, what the bit which I absolutely love, and I'm, this is months on since I've, maybe a year and a half since I've been and bought those. But the bit which I really, really like is, that I'll get that out of the way, is that you've got this little flat screen on there, obviously they're diversity, which is happy days, but this little screen is absolutely amazing. I, I've just only just started using it and I'm... Hang on, Josh, I'll be landing in your back garden. <laughs> we might be over your house. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> we were gonna give you a morning wake up call. <laughs> You're stuck. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought they were a bit of a gimmick, and that's me being really polite. I, I just didn't think they were worth the time. However, I, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, but the one downside is that the battery just didn't last, and I found out why. Which is that if we look on there, it's a it's a 2s 800 milliamp hour battery, which it won't last in 40 minutes, which is no good for me because you <laughs> the drifts in the sky for an hour, you know. So I had to do something about it. So my plan today was that I was gonna take it apart and see what was going on inside. So, oh, the other thing which I like this is because you can put an SD card in it as well and you can do, you can record the DVR footage from it. I really liked it and, so I'm, I'm, I'm excitable because I'm excited about what I've, what I've now made. And it's also got the camera mount on the bottom, the standard mount, so I can put that on the, uh, on the pole maybe. Uh, I'll make a little separate stand for it, Re anyway. Calm down, Matty, because he's all excited. Is that what I did? Is that I undid the screws on there, and that's obviously nice and safe. <laughs> just two wires hanging out the battery. Is that what I did? I just undid the screws and had a quick look. Now, the input on this is via the most scariest, jankiest plug ever, uh, but it does take 12 volts, which was very, very interesting because 12 volts means 3S. So if I take this out, and you kind of guess where I'm going with this, is that let me just take this out and I'll show you, and I've got a bit of foam wedge down there, I'll explain why in a moment. So I took this apart, and well, first things first, is that I wanted to change the battery. So I chopped the wires off the battery, which I'll seal up in a moment and put that over there for a later date. Got myself a pair of 18650s, soldered them up together, and nicked the power lead off that. So that will now fit in the back, lovely jubbly. However, did have that same issue around charging, which, which is what happens when you're at the flight line and you can't charge your goggles because it's got some stupid little tiny, just not even a normal connector, it's got a stupid little tiny connector, bullet one, which is absolutely useless. So I had the, well, I either chop off the end of the cable, I either chop this off, uh, and then maybe put an XT60 on there so I can have an XT60 on there and then maybe on this end so I could still use the charger. Or, what I could have done, and what I've been and done, is just grab some servo wires, so it's really obvious where the mains comes in, where the main power comes in, and I've got some hot glue snot, you'll see why in a moment, uh, is that on the back of this board, is that if I zoom right in, in fact, let me just put this down so it's more obvious for you. Let me just put that down there, and let me zoom right in. And the thing is, is just never be scared of these things, because they're normally really kind of obvious when you look a little bit more closely, which is that if you look, and that's wobbling around, I do apologize. Let's put my finger on it just to calm it down, thank you. If you look over here, so the outside of the charge port is done twice, and it's connected to this very large area of circuit board, which that's obviously earth, isn't it? It makes sense that that's ground or earth. And then you've got this extra one, and it seems to run down the board down here and goes all the way round. And then when you look on the other side, you've got a load of power uh, components on the opposite side. So it was really obvious that the middle one was positive, and you can't see that. That's a lot good for you, isn't it? So that's what I've been and done, is put the positive, I've just tapped on a server wire onto there, just some spare cable onto there. Now I have done that a really long piece of cable, and the reason why I've done it as a really long cable is because inside of there, well, you have a look on the bottom, XT60 connector, and then down inside of there, 
is a, a load of hot glue. <laughs> I didn't hold back on the old hot snot. Uh, and a load of hot glue in there to make sure it stays in put. And what that now means, and I'm just at the stage of putting this back together again, so if I pick this up and gently put that back round, I'm not worried about touching the screen because I've already still left the uh, plastic film on there. And now if I sit that back down gently in there, and I'm going careful of the ribbon cable, so there we go. So did that go in there nicely? Yes. No, I've not put that second board in properly, it's on an angle. There we go. There, that's gone in nice there now. Okay, so that's sat down as far as it will naturally want to go. I've done this extra piece of cable so that I could take this out again if I want to later. So I'm just gonna stuff that in there. Now it's obviously not ideal that it's so long, but needs must because I may want to get in here at a later date and take the screen out. And remember I've hot glued the bottom in there and I'm not putting another plug in there. So anyway, that's all nice and neat and tucked away down the side like so, or that extra wire. Now, when it comes to the batteries that I do need just to trim up, what I'm worried about is crushing the rubbing cable down there on the right hand side, so I'm just gonna maybe nip, yeah, about that much out. I'm sure it would have been fine, but I'm just being a little bit paranoid. And I'm just gonna cut out an extra bit of foam. There, so I've got like a little step in there and I'm gonna poke that down the bottom. There we go, so that's sat in there. And now the Pazista resistance is, I have now gone from an 800 milliampere battery to a 2005, oh no, these are, no, 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 no. These are the, let me get this right, these are the NCR 18650Bs, which if I remember, I'm gonna say the 2500, I've got a funny feeling these were the 3200s, but I might be wrong. Either way, they would cost me a fortune at the time. So I can now put those back in there. And because of that battery, to, um, basically, you're not going to like me from what I'm about to say, which is that you can charge Lion, some Lion cells up to the same voltages as what you can with LiPo. So LiPo's are 4.2s. However, some 18650s are 4.1s. However, with my experience here, I've, I've always just charged them up to 4.2, just to treat them as a LiPo. I know that's not technically correct, and by putting this into here, the circuit board for the charging on this is technically meant for uh, a LiPo battery, and I've stuck Lions in there, Am I happy with that? It's only 0.1 of a volt. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it, uh, to be frankly honest. So now's the moment. We are gonna go and connect that up. And we need to get this in the right way round. Like so, he says. Well, it hasn't gone bang, so that's always a good sign. Yeah, so that's in there. So I'm gonna poke those wires down. Now, I will come back and put some double-sided foam tape in there, and I will put something down the back of the circuit board to stop these batteries rocking around, because one thing which I can say is that they did really use some really nice glue on the back of there, which held the battery in. And of course, we now got the moment of truth. So if I put, I'm just gonna temporarily put this lid back on here, and you'll notice that I'm being quite careful and quite deliberate. Uh, it's because I don't wanna trap any cables uh, or any wires. So I am, um, what's going on here? Ah, you know I said about not wanting to trap any cables or any wires and to go gingerly with it is because I just noticed if I point that piece out just there on the end of there, that is pushing down on those power cables. So I am just gonna slightly adapt that. Now, some might say I may have voided my warranty um, some may say that Matty don't really care. Um, you're probably both quite correct. So let's try that a second time. There. That's why you go careful when you put things back together, especially after you've just been and modified them. So, right. I'm going to look at that in more detail in a moment rather than keeping you waiting. So, moment of truth. Do we get any magic pixie smoke? No! No magic pixie smoke! Happy days. So I've now got my little screen, which I'm not gonna use is the goggles because they were terrible. Well, they were all right, they were fine, but 
they were always out of focus for me to be honest. Uh, whereas this little screen is absolutely perfect uh, just to chuck in the flight bag uh, and to have it the flight line now knowing that it's going to last forever because I've stuck some 18650s in there and by the way I was trying to fit those in there which are the uh, Le, was it Letokala ones, the 26650, 5000s, that would have been amazing. But unfortunately, those didn't fit. So there you go, like I said, a really little cool project which I was working on, uh, and I thought it was worth sharing with you because I think that's pretty cool. I've basically been, and I need to turn that off, <laughs> is that uh, I bet I've, I've taken something which was all right and I quite liked on the flight line, to, and that's not turning off is it? There we go. Okay, so I've taken that from something which I quite liked and I've made it better and I'm very happy about that. So with that said for myself Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to join me here, me here at the workbench with this little bit of a strange project but this does mean by the way, that I can get more DVR recording done because I could stick a, I don't know, a 32 gig card in the top of there and just leave it running all day and not really care. Whereas like the goggles, I have to turn them on and then I have to remember to press the button and then, and then don't pull the battery out on it uh, because otherwise I'll lose the recording. I've done that so many times and lost so much DVR. Whereas this one, I could potentially just leave running all the time on record, which is pretty damn cool for obvious reasons. So, with that said, for myself, Matt, really it's time for me to go. That is a, a fun mod <laughs> for uh, a pair of go FPV goggles, which I frankly wasn't using. So before I go, uh, any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section underneath this video. Uh, if you've done something like this before, I would love to hear your feedback. And may is this something which you've considered doing for yours? Is that maybe you, you thought that you'd like a bit of extra battery and so to be honest, just doing the battery mod itself was a, a mass, would be a massive gain, but being able to take an XT60 to charge it uh, on obviously 3S is just a game changer for the flight line. Um, so yeah, is that something which you've done, would consider doing if you had a set of these goggles? Let me know in the comments section. Anyway, for myself, Matt, as always, thank you very much for taking the time to join me here. That's the second or third time I've said that. Apologies, time for me to go. Cheerios!